Hello, this is that BMX guy, and I'm gonna go over what I was using with the Dynamo. Now, the Dynamo was on the speed wagon, um, the black speed wagon, not the chrome speed wagon, the black speed wagon, and it was oriented this way, and I got it to work in that sense. What I mainly use it for is this little sine wave revolution. They're out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. But anyway, what this does is it puts an output of like five volts. And I was hooking USB ports to it. So this Radio Shack splitter I tried to use, I found this didn't seem to work too good. Um, it just didn't seem like anything was charging when they were both connected to it. But it was a cool idea. I guess the better idea is maybe just using two of these and having them both come off the hub and that way you charge one thing off of one and one, th one thing off the other. The main problem I always had is that the phones have these stupid little tiny unfocusable micro USB plugs. Well, anyway, they, they like to break. I mean, they're just too fragile. Um, the newer phone, it has a C which is just a little bit bigger. It doesn't seem like it breaks as easy. I, I tried to get one that has like these little springs that kind of help the wire. But I don't know. It, it just seems like everything's too fragile. The, the plugs that are used for... There's another one on there. This one is used for the lights. Now, it, it didn't seem like it was keeping the light charged when I hooked it to it. Like, let's say the battery in that true 150 was going dead. Like, it was so a red flashing. Well, it was showing it charging, but it was still doing a red flashing. Like, when you do it live charging as it's being used, I don't think that hub can keep up even with this thing. And I guess what I've found out is that it's just probably easier just using just this to charge up a battery pack. Um, and I have a quite a few battery packs actually. They're all basically they were freebies in a sense, so they're four thousand milliamps an hour. And well, they'll charge up the phone that I'm using for this video, the Samsung S twenty, but you can't do anything at all. You just you you can't look at the phone. You can't do anything. But at least the battery kind of will charge up the phone if you sit somewhere for like a good hour. Um, I found it. I didn't really test to see if this actually will charge a battery all the way up. Let's say I bring a battery dead and just go on a Valley Forge ride with the sine wave hooked up and this front wheel. I didn't see if it would actually charge it up after like 25 miles of riding or not. I just haven't really tested it like that. I only tested or used it on the, the Batsto at Zion campground trip that was in September. I think it was September. Or was that August? Uh, I don't even know anymore. It was a long month, I guess. Um, yeah, all this stuff would sit in the Roadrunner bag. Um, it didn't seem like water was getting into the bag easily. And I don't know... I usually have it oriented so this is facing me. If I face it this way, it's just, you know, it's, it's away from my kneecaps. But I was using that bag with it. I was thinking of trying to get the sign where to go inside of that Swift bag instead of using this one. Um, I have it oriented so there's a hole that I put in the back of this. Actually, two holes. There's one hole there and one hole here that the wire goes through. And I use a zip tie that goes through this hole also to hold this against the handlebar so it doesn't rattle around. Um, some people are saying just leave it out in the open, but I'd rather it hidden in the bag so nobody knows it's there. But some people might think this 
might be valuable. It isn't cheap. Like, it does work as what it does. Now, there's a thing called Indestructibles, a website that people hook speakers to the dynamo with a battery pack that uses, like, the, the dynamo as, like, a charger to a, a speaker system. Which, this will probably be fine for that. I haven't really got that into the whole trying to make something that works better than just this by itself. It's just, um... It's a lot of thought and processing. Like, I was trying to make it so this can charge two things at once, but that didn't seem to work out. I can maybe try to hook two batteries to this, but that's another test. Maybe, maybe a future test will be I hook both battery packs after they are discharged to this and see how much this thing just will actually charge them as I'm riding back and forth from Valley Forge. I know that's only a 50 mile trip, but it shouldn't take that much time, right? And we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. But yeah, this is just a video of one, what I'm using it with the Dynamo that I kind of find useless.